Hello everybody, how are you doing? Now, it has come to my attention that some of you, yes, and I am talking about you, watch YouTube videos rather than writing music. Oh, now, this gave me a wonderful idea. Why don't I do all the prevarication for you so you don't have to? Genius. Okay, so what I'm going to do in this video is settle down and write a decent little piece of music, which we will do, I promise, by the end of it. I'm going to give you my four top tips on how to avoid prevarication. And first of all, I'm going to get some inspiration because I've got no inspiration today. And actually, I am going to get down to writing some music. It's just that um, I, I need a haircut. I need a haircut because if you've got long, shaggy hair, it just doesn't doesn't kind of work, does it? So let's first get the hair cut, then I'm going to settle down and write the music. Good morning. Get the, get the full impact of this. Oh yes, look. yeah, that's the one. Excellent, thank you very much. Okay, ta-da! Right, so now, with my new haircut, I am absolutely, definitely inspired and I'll rush back to the studio and we'll write a truly great piece of music, okay? Brilliant. Okay, time now to start writing. There's only one thing missing. A cup of tea. I haven't got a cup of tea. I need a cup of tea. I can't start without a cup of tea, obviously, because there's no way I can write music without a cup of tea, as everybody knows. So, disaster. We've run out of tea, so I'm going to just pop out and get some more tea. Back in a minute. You see, to write music, you need exactly the right cup of tea. So it's worth taking a little bit of time to get the right one, don't you think? I'm not there. It's a cup of tea worth going the extra mile for. Finally back with my tea. One packet of tea. So we'll make a cup of tea and then we'll get down and write some music. Mm, look at that. Have we got a pop of teapot anywhere? I've got to go and get a teapot. Back in a minute, boys. So finally, I've run out of things to prevaricate with. I've had my, um, my hair cut. I've got a very nice cup of tea. <sighs> the only thing I don't have is inspiration. But here are some things to bear in mind when you do need to get down to work and you are prevaricating like mad. You don't need inspiration to write music. You need inspiration to write good music. And the first step towards writing good music is writing anything. So number one, just get started. It doesn't matter how trite and boring and awful the music is, you can always come up with something better later, but getting going is a hugely important part of beating prevarication. Um, the other thing is give yourself um, a time limit. Say, right, I'm going to try and write something in the next hour, in the next three hours, whatever it might be, because a deadline is, even if it's an artificial deadline like that, it's really actually useful. Um, try and give yourself um, some kind of a, um, you know, a limitation. And um, for example, ha-ha! 
why don't we use some sounds from my prevarication? We're going to use the sound of scissors, the sound of the teacup. Yes, so the prevarication will indeed feed into the piece of music itself. The last thing I'd say is give yourself an objective. And the objective is going to be to write some nonsensical uh, theme tune to some uh, completely uh, extraordinary telev television show called The Great Celebrity Snip-Off, uh, where um, B-list celebrities come together to cut each other's hair while drinking tea. OK, The Great Celebrity Snip-Off. So what? So good. Beethoven fell off his chair. He's so impressed <laughs> with this idea. Right, so we're going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record some sound here uh, of the teacup and my scissors, and then we will uh, leap into life and make it all happen. Okay. Just before we go any further, I thought I'd bring you a quick word from our sponsor, me. If you want to write better music, better tunes, more interesting chord progressions, and fully develop your ideas, then check out my online course, How to Write Music. Six hours of video tutorials, free downloads, a supportive online community, and a comprehensive course text. Take your music to the next level with How to Write Music. God, it's so good, I'm gonna buy it. Right. I have now cause you skipped the boring bit and I've uh, dragged these um, chopped up bits of audio into my uh, project. Ta da! Here we go. So we have, um, I also did a bit of a boiling kettle and various other things. What's we got? So these are scissors. Okay. Um, we've got kettle boiling. Uh, we've got a uh, teacup. That sounds quite good just like that, actually. OK, what I'm going to do is build a rhythm out of scissors and um, let's take this down here. Uh, let's put that. Are we going to put it on the hard grid? Make the grid beat. Uh, make the, No, grid quantize. So there we go. So, so that's... Uh, I'm going to put one of these on each offbeat. Um, I could actually play in some of some of this teacup, um, and then the teacup can be make the rest of the beat. At, uh, whoops! Ding. This is a very old school s sort of way of doing this, but okay. So look, so we're gonna. I don't know what this is going to sound like, and then we'll, we'll jazz it up a bit. But then we're going to come up with a little tune, which could be a TV theme, and see how we get on. Uh, OK, take that out, put that in, trying to do this as fast as possible. Uh, OK. Let's see if this sounds any good. Um, it doesn't sound bad. It's going to need some something of more rhythmic interest towards the end. Um, I quite liked when it did that little diddly dip bit. So. Okay, I'm going to need to balance it up a bit. That needs to be louder. That needs to be quieter. Uh, now we can put these onto a second beat, a second track, uh, and so we can have a little digger, 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 digger. T, T two. Then okay, so we're going to go. Whoops, come back. Put this on sixteenth. So now we're going to go like that. So we're going to have a little sixteenth riff at the end. Then I'm going to turn these ones down. So it'll go did 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 and on. Okay, that's not bad. 
Okay. What do you think? What do you think? Is this going anywhere? Is this a, a work of uh, complete lacking inspiration, nonsensicalness, or is it actually? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. We need to duplicate the whole thing. Uh, get it to snap to the grid. Snap to the beat. Yep. Get it to snap there. Now we merge the whole lot together. I'm trying to do this super fast, as you know. Okay, let's, that'll do. Right, let's see what we've got. Um, I'm going to use... A, you can't do one of these silly little themes without a bit of pizzicato. Everybody uses pizzicato in these things, don't they? Uh, so here we go. Right, let's have it close. Okay, let's see if this is going to work. Okay, let's move. First of all, we're going to move everything in up uh, a few bars so that we get some count in. Uh, turn the click on. Start it at minus one, then duplicate it. I'm going to start, okay, in writing this piece of music, I'm not starting with the tune, I'm starting with, we've started with the rhythm, okay, which certainly has a certain little kind of bouncy thing going for it. Next, I'm going to put in a chord progression, which is going to go, or, Something fairly simple, but cheery. No, I prefer what I was doing before. Welcome to Celebrity Snip Off. Oh, yes. Is this any good? I don't know. I know there's a dodgy note in there. Let's get rid of that note because it's annoying you. I know, Derek in Idaho, it's really getting on your nerves, isn't it? Wow, look at those, all, bring all those down a bit. Okay. So I'll move that out of the way and try another one. So if I've got one which is a viable bank, you know, something to start with, have another go. I quite like that. That end was simply terrible. It doesn't matter because we don't care. We're going to press on relentlessly at full chat speed thingy. Okay, let's try an acoustic guitar. How about that?
nope, that doesn't work. Um, so we're going to go... Uh, if we were, if I was doing a Tom Howe Bake Off type thing, I'd go for some woodwind, wouldn't I? So we'll go for... And something very simple, like Albion... Uh, sort of, you want an all-in-one patch, really, an ensemble... Here we go, woodwind's high. That one, that'll do. What do we think? Is this... What's your guess? I prefer the old one, to be honest. Uh, the old one may be hidden around somewhere, but I quite liked the more fluty one, which was from Albion. Do you see what I mean? Then I just do do the whole thing again, but go, have to remember to go up. <laughs> okay, we still are in need of a top line. We're going to go for a piano. See how that shapes up. This is the piano tech piano, I like it. Maybe we'll just go with this, actually. Uh, maybe that is a slightly more... Okay, look, I'm not going to waste any more of your time than absolutely necessary. I mean, okay, why didn't I go for a chip? Because actually, I'm, it sounds stupid, but it's a slightly more contemporary way of approaching it um, than uh, writing a big tune on the top, in, I think. Um, okay, let's add some... I don't have to add a new instrument every time I do this. I'm just doing it because I've got tons of room, so who cares? And it's easier to mix. Um, so, right, let's now get through to the Glock. Yes, or Celeste. I'm a bit of a secret Celeste fan. Right, I think we have got this now. So we've done it, sort of, kind of, really. Uh, sort of with my cup of tea and the scissors and the haircut and it's not the best piece of music in the world, but it's a piece of music. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the world premiere of the theme tune to Celebrity Snip Off with Cups of Tea. Here it goes. Welcome! Today we bring you together... Oh, okay. But look, um, I have at least got going, and was I to have been um, all blocked and prevaricating, this would have liberated my little spirit. So, we have finally got there, and we've got some nice tea along the way, and I've entertained you, hopefully for a bit, and managed to prevent you writing any music. So now you've got no excuse. What are you going to do now? Correct! 
get a haircut, go to London and get some tea. The last thing you're going to do is write any music, isn't it? I mean, in all honesty. Look, uh, thank you very much indeed for your company, as ever. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, and if you're here right to the end, you've obviously had a reasonably good time, so please subscribe. Um, if you want to know all about um, how to write music, my new course in um, how to write music, as it does what it says on the tin, then click below, because there's plenty of details down there. But next time, we'll be up to something uh, even more bizarre. I don't know if I can promise you that. Anyway, see you very soon.